Hello and welcome everyone to the lecture for section 1.1 on what are environmental hazards. What we're going to be covering in this lecture are three different things. We're going to be talking about the difference between what a hazard and what a disaster actually refers to. We're also going to be talking about different types of environmental hazards and we're going to be talking about the combination of natural hazards or natural disasters together with uh, technological disasters. To start off with, what's the difference between a hazard and disaster? Well, a hazard is where there's actually just a situation um, that could actually threaten life, health, the environment, or property. Well, a disaster is actually, it's an event, something that has happened that has, you know, that's often kind of prompted because of a disaster. Um, this event completely disrupts and damages life, health, environment, or property. So both are very similar but this is kind of before. This is a suspected issue where this is an issue that's actually happened. Types of hazards and disasters. We are going to be examining or focusing mostly in this course on natural hazards or natural disasters. But there are other kind of uh, hazards and disasters that are out there. They're kind of touch on natural disasters. There's also technological disasters and conflict disasters. Technological disasters are ones that are human caused and it's often they're accidents, they're unintentional um, disasters that have occurred. For instance, it could be a, a building that's kind of um, had issues and it's fallen down or it could be an accident, road accident, um, you know, maybe because a road accident because there was ice on the road because of a natural um, hazard out there. Where conflict is also human caused, but it's an intentional human caused disaster. So it could be, for instance, terrorist bombing um, would be considered as being a conflict hazard or disaster. And we also have disasters that are or hazards that are kind of um, the cross between both natural and technological ones. And we call these NAN NATEC disasters or NADTEC hazards. And we'll be talking a little bit more about this at the end. So natural hazards, they are defined as any natural process or phenomenon that may cause loss of life, injury, or other environmental impacts, um, health, sorry, health impacts, social and economic disruption, or environmental damage. And this is from the United Nations, and we're going to be examining this, um, this organization soon enough, United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction. So on the f what are the different types of natural hazards? We're going to be examining um, natural hazards that are geologic. So in other words, they're from the little sphere. We're going to be talking about these different spheres um, within our next section of the course. So geolog geologic natural hazards could be earthquakes, volcanoes or volcanic eruptions, and landslides. So all of these either deal with our, our disasters that are um, created within the Earth's mantle or on the Earth's surface that are um, connected to rock or soil. The other natural hazards are meteorological or atmospheric disasters. These include tropical cyclones, tornadoes, hail, ice storms, and snowstorms. And we'll be examining this during our Unit 2. We also have hydro hydrological disasters or disasters from the hydrosphere. And these include river floods, coastal floods, or drought. So this is an example here of the Grand River actually flooding. So the Grand River uh, located just a little bit um, west of us. And it is definitely a river that's prone to, prone to flooding through towns like uh, Guelph, uh, Cambridge, as well as Paris, Ontario. And um, it is definitely been managed by flood control. This is um, coastal flooding. I believe this was actually from Hurricane Sandy that hit the east coast of um, New York State. And this is a picture of a drought occurring in California earlier last year. So other natural hazards are biological hazards. And these are, include things such as epidemics of diseases and wildfires. And there's other ones, including um, 
uh, things such as pest invasions, etc. We also have natural hazards that are connected together with ice and snow. So things from the uh, things connected with the cryosphere, and these could could be um, things as um, icebergs. So dangers from icebergs, dangers from avalanches, and the issues of melting permafrost, and the dangers um, that this actually poses on humans as well as human structures. We also have natural disasters or natural hazards coming from outside of our planet. So we call them extraterrestrial hazards. And these include geomagnetic, geomagnetic storms. So whenever the sun might have um, an outburst, we, are, we end up receiving a whole bunch of different um, charged particles um, at our, you know, coming towards our planet. And our planet will actually kind of protect um, itself. And we'll be talking a little, bit more, a little bit more about this when we talk about the Earth's spheres. And we also have the issue of disasters coming from beyond in the forms of meteorites coming and hitting the Earth. And we'll be talking about this later on in this section. So technological disasters are defined as hazards originating from technological or industrial conditions, including accidents, dangerous procedures, infrastructure failures, or specific human activities that may cause loss or life injury, illness, or other health impacts, property damage, loss of livelihoods and services, social and economic disruptions, or environmental damage. Again, this is from the UN ISDR. So examples of technological hazards, their classifications, one would be transportation accidents, so air accidents, train derailments, and shipwrecks are all considering are all considered as being transportation accidents connected with under technological hazards. We also have industrial fail failures, such as um, fires and explosions and release of toxic or radioactive materials. And the following three pictures here are from the Bhopal disaster that occurred in India back in the 80s when um, a chemical plant actually ended up having um, a, a, an basically an, an accidental explosion, which ended up releasing a whole bunch of um, poisonous toxic gas, which ended up both killing as well as blinding um, several residents within the, Bo uh, the city of Bhopal in India. And this is a picture here of a young lady, or, uh, used to be a beautiful young lady, who's now, her eyes have been permanently scarred because of the toxic gas that was released. The next technological hazard are unsafe buildings and facilities. An example of this would be structural collapse. And structures or um, different infrastructure uh, can often have issues because they were poorly built, um, not following code, or they could be um, built using shoddy materials. They can also end up having problems if they have been poorly maintained or inspected. Um, this is an example here of a, uh, an overpass bridge that was poorly maintained. Um, the, uh, the transportation inspectors um, didn't notice that there has been a lot of issues because of salt, um, etc., kind of um, corroding a lot of the beams within the um, within the bridges. And there was actually a part section of the overpass in Montreal and it collapsing. And after that, the uh, lot of inspectors ended up going out and realizing that there are several bri several other bridges in Montreal that are kind of also in a very perilous conditions. And not only did the inspections kind of go in Montreal, but also um, in other cities around Canada. There's also been other ex um, more recent examples of uh, structural collapses. You may have remembered the garment factory that collapsed in Bangladesh and it had a connection to Canada because some of the garments that were made in that factory were actually um, connected together with the Joe Fresh brand. And we also had an example, um, I guess a few years ago, of a collapse of a mall up in Elliott Lake, um, where because the um, engineer did not that was inspecting the building did not realize that a lot of the beams in that building were actually corroding, and um, that the basically the parking garage ended up falling right through um, into the mall itself, killing two women. And there's actually been an inquiry just kind of finished off just this month 
on that uh, disaster, technological disaster that happened at Elliott Lake. We also have the issue of buildings being uh, poorly designed um, where uh, I guess the people within the buildings cannot escape if there's a, a potential fire. And uh, the, the classic example of this is the fire at the Triangle Waste Company back just before World War II, uh, sorry, World War I. And um, a fire had actually broken out within this um, shirt making factory. And the women that are working in this garment factory could not get out. Um, the ones that did try to escape from this fire um, and jumping through the window to their deaths. And um, because of this um, horrible disaster where hundreds of um, garment workers were killed, um, the, a lot of laws were actually changed, uh, making sure that buildings were actually designed with fire escapes, etc., and with, um, in a, eventually with sprinkler systems. And it also ended up kind of um, pushing the formation of unions and also the, form uh, the formation of safety regulations. So whenever you actually uh, when you go out and work in several jobs, you are actually protected um, by um, the workers, uh, basically within workers' inspections um, with here within Ontario. We also, our next technological hazard um, is dealing with hazardous materials. So for instance, hazardous materials, they're stored, transported, or misused. And here's um, two examples from Ontario where there was a storage of hazardous materials, actually plastics, um, in Hamilton, Ontario, in an abandoned factory area. Um, that factory was kind of broken into by youths over time. And at, at one point in time, one of the youths actually ended up starting um, a, f a little bonfire, which then ended up getting out of control and set fire to a lot of the um, plastics that were being kind of stored in this abandoned factory. Um, this disaster was actually called the Plastimate Fire and occurred back in 1997. We also have the example of an issue with hazardous materials that were um, stored close to a residential area and the basically the transportation, sorry, or the, um, the handling of that um, of this of this hazardous material which was propane ended up causing an, a, um, an explosion so this is the sunrise propane um, explosion that occurred in Toronto um, just a few years ago and there was a worker that was trying to um, transfer propane from one tank to a tanker and it was done improperly which ended up leading to a huge explosion which ended up um, killing the, the worker and damaging several homes within the area. We also have a crossover of um, both natural and technological disasters. We, we call Nantech disasters. And they are hazards that arise when extreme natural processes lead to the failure of industrial structures and other assets within the built-in environment. And the classic example of this is the Fukushima nuclear reactor, where there was a severe earthquake that occurred off the coast, the east coast of Japan, which ended up leading to a tsunami. And we're definitely going to be talking about this in the course. And that tsunami wave ended up hitting the Fukushima reactor right along the coast and it did, um, it basically damaging to destroying a couple of the reactors. And so there's the before picture and the after picture. Um, and this disaster is still continuous. Um, they're still working on trying to um, clean up the area. And we also have another Nantech, classic Nantech disaster, where we end up having a landslide in the, um, the Italian Alps um, that ended up basically sliding into a reservoir. A, um, and basically the dam was not damaged but this sudden surge of material into the reservoir and it raising the water levels of the reservoir up and over the side of the dam. And that sudden rush of water uh, down through the, um, down into the valley ended up destroying one of the uh, little, t local, little local towns right within that valley um, by a huge rush of flood water. So that is um, all the different examples of both natural as well as technological as well as natural or nan-tech disasters.